yes yes hello everyone welcome back into this video and welcome back again to now max tv in this video i'm going to show you how you can use gemini as an ai model uh, which you can use in your project so if you use uh, other artificial intelligence tools like uh, chat gpt um, google bad and the others also you can be able to use gemini uh, which is also another ai uh, tool or ai model for google and also you can be able to do a various project you can be able to integrate it with the various project that you want to be using and also uh, this can be helpful especially for developers and also this can be an additional uh, support to your skills that can also help you to fasten the project as well so as you can see here we have uh, welcome to Gem uh, the gemini uh, era and also as you see uh, if you come uh, to deep mind uh, what you need to do you can search for this gemini uh, if you search for gemini uh, by google you are going to see uh, the the first one which is also google deep mind so which is google deep mind so once you open this page of google deep mind also dot google that is where also i'm going to be uh like to this page which also you're going to be uh, uh finding various details about this uh ai tool so also what's what you need to do here you can see you can be exploring uh the categories and also you can be clicking here and see on about us page and also i want to be redirected to uh, everything or every information about this that is where we're going to be seeing an overview about this uh, so you can see you can be reading more about this ai model or ai tool that you can be using and also if we go back to the responsibilities and the safety as well as education that is where i want to be getting uh, all the information you need to know about this gemini, uh, gemini. Uh, tool. So if you go back to the uh, technologies, uh, that is where we are going directed back to the uh, the page uh, where we were also exploring various tools included in this Gemini uh, technology. So now let's go to uh, this one. If I go to explore more, there's Gemini Ella. There is capabilities where you can be able to read uh, what the Gemini can be able to do. Meet the first version of Gemini. Uh, also you can see uh, this uh, the AI uh, capable model you can be uh, getting all the information here that also you want to know also you can see you'll be able to code uh, Python code generations you can be also reading more about this uh, tool that you are going to be using and also uh, get an insight of how you're going to be using this also this tool is made up of three uh sizes including ultra uh, which is also the most capable and the largest model for high complex tasks there is also pro plan which is also um, the best model for scaling across a wide range of tasks and also nano uh, which is also the most efficient model for not on device tasks so uh, you can see there is hand-ons you can click here and read the route and search these tutorials yeah, you can read about the safety of uh, using this tool. You can get to the Google Bad also as you know it. If you want to be there to it, you have to click here. Now, if you want to start also with uh, uh, Gemini, that is where I want to be coming here to the AI uh, Google.dev. So you need to click on this link. And also once you click on this link, you're going to be redirected to uh, the platform that are going to be starting uh, with your projects. And also you can be uh, visiting it directly on your uh, device. This is also where you can be uh, visiting this uh, this uh, uh, this link. And also if you visit this link, you'll also be directed there. So you can be coming here and also read the uh, As you see, they told us that there are three sizes and also the sizes are displayed here. That is also where uh, they are showing you everything and also on the platform that you're going to be able to uh, help you integrate with your project and also complete your project as well. As you can see, you can even be able to get the API key in the Google AI Studio uh, that you can be also using your project. So if you come to the pricing, that is where also you get uh, to know uh, which pricing model uh, will this uh, uh, AI model be costing or will, be, uh, will I be uh, paying for this technology, for consuming the resources for this technology, for using uh, this te technology as well. So you can see uh, there is also free for 
everyone uh, which has uh, the right limit for 60 kpm uh, queries per minute uh, which is uh, means uh, having uh, 60 uh, queries per minute you will be able to use it for free uh, if you have also uh, place the free place output is a free and also you will be having input output data to be improved for the products you can even get api to do this as well so there is also pay as you go plan uh, which is going to be coming soon uh, which is not yet published uh, we are also be paying uh, this amount for one key collector uh, 1000 collectors and also you start for, from 60k uh, limits and also you will be able to get this uh, as well as additional input so uh, now uh, as we want to be starting the, getting the api key that is where i want to be starting with this plan because we want to start using uh, this uh, technology as well let me click here and also after clicking here that is where i'm going to be direct to this platform which is max suite uh, dot google.com what you need to do first you need to accept uh, the terms and the conditions you have to read the terms and the conditions for using this gemini tool and also once you are done it you have to click next as you can see i'm now on the dashboard where i can start creating my new project where i can start working on my new project from here i can be able to get the api key so that i can integrate it in my project and also uh, start working on my project as well by using this uh, gemini technology so what you need to do is that you have, you have to click here and also generate the new uh, api key that you want to use in your project if you want the api key in the existing uh, project as well that is where you have also to click here and get the one so now you can see i want to be uh, able to start now if i want to start now creating a new prompt using this one i have to click here also if i click on this new that is where i'm going to be uh, uh so starting you can see i have chat prompt i have structured prompts i have a free form prompt and from here I also you can choose the one you want to be uh, using let me click on this one uh, which is also a freemium prompt you can see i don't have the name of the prompt maybe i can uh, call it my uh, my new projects so if i i, I got my new project you have to describe it or not then after this you see they are giving you the sample of what you have to do they are telling you either to uh, the way that you are going to formulate the, the, the prompt to be able to get the responses so what i need to do is that i need for example to be writing about uh, uh, what uh, i want to be the, the output from my project for example i want uh, my i want this uh, technology or this gemini to be uh, providing me with the search uh, the search bar i can be also able to type uh, to, to give it the comment to provide me with the search bar also if i say for example give me the html html code for the search bar and explain it and explain to me make sure that the search bar also use ajax so now as you can see now after doing this what i need to do this the command the, the command i i put the prompt that i propose to do it now i have to click here on this learn option so that i can be generating the responses uh, once i'm done you can see i'm going to be uh, getting the html also which i'm going to be using so once uh, also it is done that is where you can be getting the search as you see uh, it also uh, give you the code at the top and also below it start here by giving an explanation uh, which means you can be getting the explanation of what you did and also be getting uh, the output of what you requested for instance let's try this code we received and also uh, try to be uh, reading it to uh, another uh, platform let's try to be also obtaining the uh, also obtaining uh, the 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 lizard and see if it is working for example let's start let's search for the the html viewer and see 
so i can see uh, maybe let me click on this one and also be able to paste this one so once i paste this one you can see i obtained the search uh, code which also i can be able to uh, open in utah and so you can see this one uh search bar that also i typed you can see it provided me with the search uh, bar which i can also be able to integrate either on my platform either on my other tool that i have also made so now it's the same way that you can be able to also uh, uh, ask you various prompt by using various prompt and also be able to get the option either you want an html page uh, that you want also be creating for example uh, give me the html web page give me the html web page with the about us contact and home page so make sure that uh, sure that they are arranged uh, horizontally So this is the prompt that I provided to it, and also I'm going to be uh, obtaining the, uh, the, out, uh, the outcome or the result. So what I did is that it's going to be giving me the same way as uh, on HTML I requested it. You can either be requesting it uh, to provide you as a JavaScript code, CSS style. Depends on what you want, also depends on uh, the outcome that you need. Let me, for example, copy this one uh, as the, the part, which is also the, the web page I have already created, and also be able to paste it here uh, in the HTML view as well. Once I'm done, that is where I'm going to be also reading it. So as you see, uh, I have also agented my web page. You see it doesn't have a content, but also the website is here. And also, if you want to be adding the content, it's up to you. you can be able to edit it and continue with the content. But as now here, you can see that I have uh, the, the page home about us uh, contact. And also, it has already arranged it horizontally as I have also requested it. So you can read also various uh, uh, links before you start. If you have any issue, you can also see here uh, what you need to do more can explain a lot you can also explore documentations if you click on documentation that you're going to be uh, redirected to the platform or the base where you can read the more about these tools about how you can be uh, also using it you can see how you can be launching the ai studio also this uh, google ai uh, quick start so you can also be able to read uh, the uh, the prompt category so if you read it now that is where we're going to be also that to this one also you can be getting the guide as well depending on what you want to use from here you can also be getting the code this is the code that also uh, you see you can be able to get everyone so it's all up to you how to be able so to uh, use any feature that you want and also be able to ask uh, depends on uh, the outcome that you want and depending on the project that you want to be also obtaining as you see also there are also versions you can see uh, this uh, gemini uh, pro gemini provision so, and also you can edit the uh, safety settings you can go to reverse it and also be able to uh, to get other details it's up to you to customize and also be able to uh, do everything that you want here and also if you come to my library that is where also can be allowing uh, the google drive to access this uh, work or this project you are completing here in this gemini technology or in this gemini ai workspace so thank you for watching uh, this video this is how you can be able to use uh, gemini uh, also technology or ai tool uh, and also be able to integrate in your uh, uh, in your uh, project in your applications and also be able to produce our uh, various uh, projects uh, which you want as well so remember to like this video subscribe to this channel on tv and also turn uh, the button uh, so if you have any question or suggestion uh, remember to leave it in a comment section